Hello, beautiful people. Um, you guessed it. This is going to be all about my new... Sorry, the dog just put his face in the camera. <laughs> um, all about my new septum piercing. Did it hurt? Blah, blah, blah. Questions like that and such. I did just get it done yesterday. And I will update on it just like I did with my vertical labret piercing. Um, I'm sorry about my face right now. I just got out of bed. <laughs> but, uh, let's get this started. So, um, when I went in to the shop yesterday and I went to Sin Alley Tattoo... It's on Benefit Street in Pawtucket, and um, it's just the best shop I've ever been to in my life. Everyone there is so polite and very, very helpful. But um, anyways, that's not the point. Uh, so originally, I went in to get this done, which obviously I also got done, but I walk in. And I'm like, alright, so I want the other side of my lip done. And fuck it, just pierced my septum too. <laughs> Maybe in different words, but that's pretty much how it went. Um, so, she did do my lip first, but I'm going to make a separate video on that. So, uh, if you were wondering why my lip looks a little bit swollen, it's because, like I just said, I did just get it done yesterday. Um... So, ow, I keep forgetting it's there too when I keep like hitting my nose. I was doing that all night at work last night, but um, she had me lay down for it. I sat up for my lip, but she had me lay down, well, she laid the table down, which in turn laid me down, um, and she put her fingers up, like, in my nose. Well, after she cleaned it out, she put her fingers, like, up in my nose and, like, squeezed around. And she said that she was finding this, like, special spot um, where it's, like, extra, extra, extra thin cartilage. Like, before the really thick cartilage that's, like, all up in the middle. Uh so yeah, she found that and she said it was one of the easiest ones she's ever found in her life and that it was pretty ideal where mine was because she said everyone's was in a different spot. But um, so then she took um, these special clamps, they aren't like regular clamps. Like, when you get your lip pierced or whatever, it, they were, like, it kind of looked like a tube, I want to say. I want to call it a tube, because, well, it was a tube, but, and, like, put them in there, and then she shoved the needle through, like, I saw the needle go in, and I saw it come out the other side. And, I shit you not, I barely felt anything. There was no pain involved. There was, like, a little, 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 little tiny bit of discomfort, I want to say. Um, I know I never made it in All About My Tragus video, but I will do that. And, uh, try to explain it a little bit more in depth there. I can try to explain it a little bit now. Like, it was more of an annoyance, but not a painful annoyance. Like, has anyone ever just, like, poked you really hard? Like, just, like, just, like, pushed on you, and it's like, the fuck are you doing? Stop. Uh, yeah, my hair isn't straightened right now, so it's all sorts of over the place. But, um, anyways... It was really just, just like that pressure, and it happened really fast, so it was really just like someone went. 
And it it was dumb, too, because, like, I braced myself for pain because everyone told me that their septum piercing kill. And I literally, I was just like, was that it? <laughs> like, what even was that? That was, like, nothing. So, that was that. There was no pain involved. Um, as far as that, it's not... There's no swelling involved in my nose area. Um, this is what it got pierced with, obviously, since I just got it yesterday. It's not like it could have changed it already. Um, I can move it back and forth like that, side to side. Um, to clean it, I... You know, just like Q-tips, obviously, with um, salt water on them. I never really understood the point of going out and like wasting a bunch of money on saline solution, which is literally just expensive salt water. It's literally like tap water and salt in a bottle at a store instead of just tap water and salt at your house that you don't have to pay for. But, uh, I mean, shit, that's up to you if you want to spend money on something. You could make it home. Um, that's that. I have not even attempted to flip it up yet. Um, not because I think it's gonna hurt to flip it up, but really just because, um, I have no need to flip it up. My job lets me wear it. It doesn't, you know, my job doesn't really give a shit. So, um, I, I just haven't bothered. There's no one I'm trying to hide it from. And usually flipping it up is a tactic to hide it. No, I believe so. I don't know. I don't want to flip it up. Uh, if I didn't want people to see it, I wouldn't have gotten it. So, that, uh, that was that. There's not much else to it. Uh, no pain, no problem, no complication. It's, uh, pretty good. So, that was that one. And I'll stop this and do an all about this one for you. Whatever you want to call it, you said Lebret. I don't. Everyone calls all this shit different, and I don't. I don't know, cause I don't want to get bitched at about using the wrong words, even though I don't. It's happened before though, so I guess I will see you guys next video. Um. Bye.